All right, AC, uh, third season here. Um, what have you learned over the first two seasons that's going to make you an even better manager the third time around here in the city of Fort Wayne? Um, you know, each season that I've come here has brought something different. Um, I think I've learned, you know, how to just kind of roll with the punches, um, as I would say, and kind of, you know, take each day for what it is and, and learn from each day like these guys, like I tell these guys to do, um, and do it myself. You know, they're going to go through their growing pains and their ups and downs, and I have to be there to support them and teach them. And um, I seem to be getting a little more calm every year um, just because I know what to expect, especially with this age group. Um, and I try to instill that in my other coaches as well. You know, they can get a little frustrated when things aren't going right. But as we can see last year, you can have a down first half and turn around in the second half and make it a pretty good season. So just to be patient is probably the biggest thing. When you take a look at last year's roster, you had a, at times, most of the time last season, you were the youngest team in all of professional baseball. Uh, based on this year's roster, it's 11 or 12 teenagers again. So it's kind of a similar situation where you had a lot of young players. How do you take that experience? Is, is, is it kind of just what you said is, you know, not worry about the first half, know that the growth is going to be there? Yeah. The young roster. Yeah, they uh, they're getting into their first full season, the majority of them, and they're going to go through things that they've never experienced before. And I have to remember that um, and put myself in their shoes when I was that age. Is what did I know back then? And if I can go through that with them, um, it makes the transition to the second half a lot smoother. And I think these guys, from what I've seen so far, are going to be a good group to, to do it with. They mesh well on and off the field. Their chemistry is good. Um, you know, just seeing the way they interact is going to help them in those, those areas. Who's going to be your opening day starter Thursday, and what, what do you have your rotation planned out to be? Uh, Nick Margavish is going to start opening day. Um, Mason Thompson will start opening night here. Mm -hmm. um, did you want an all six pos positions? You, you have them all. Okay, let me see if I can get this right without <laughs> messing it up. So Nick's going to start opening night. Aaron Lesher will start the second. Mason Thompson, um, Osvaldo Hernandez, Thomas Cosgrove, and then Mackenzie Gore will pitch sixth. Uh, I know Mackenzie's dealing with some blisters, but what have you seen from him that makes him, you know, uh, MLB.com ranks him as the number one left-hander in minor league baseball? Um, he's the full package, uh, the character, the makeup, the, the poise he has on the mound. Um, uh, those are kind of the intangible things you don't really teach a kid, but he has them naturally. Um, and then you mix that with the competitor and the athlete that he is. Um, there's no reason why, like, the Padres wouldn't pick him third overall. You know, he comes um, as advertised. Um, you know, he gets the ball, and, like, there's nothing but pure confidence coming from him. And everybody sees it, and they feed off it. And we look uh, to him to kind of do the same thing he did in spring training. Do you see any similarities between him and Tatis? Because depending on what rankings you look, Tatis and he are like number one and number two in terms of prospects in this organization. I mean, obviously, one's a pitcher, one's a position player, but just in terms of confidence, maybe, or in terms of makeup? Yeah, um, I think Tatis was a little more out there. You know, he, he uh, kind of thrived out there with the, on the spotlight. Um, McKenzie's a little bit more down-to-earth, humble kid, quiet, um, kind of lets... Uh, Everything happened how it's going to happen. Tatis wanted to steal the show, I would say. Um, but that was a good thing, you know. Tatis was a superstar, and, you know, he, I still believe he's going to be a superstar when he, when he finally gets up there. Um, but they're both different in, in personalities. Um, but the confidence in, in the player and their ability um, is pretty much the same. Um, I think McKenzie, when he grabs the ball, he expects to dominate every single time he gets out on the mound, um, just like Tatis did when when he took the field. So there's similarities in that, but personality-wise, they're a little bit different. Ella Raza and Sawinski were, were basically everyday players for you guys, for you guys last year. Mm -hmm. Having them back, I know they're only still 19 years old, um, but having them back and having that experience, how does that kind of maybe set the table for what you guys want to do um, out there in terms of your, your starting eight? Yeah, you know, regardless of age, you know, anytime you can get a full season under your belt is going to bring some type of experience uh, to the team. and, and to have them come back and, and contribute to this uh, an, another talented young group is going to be huge for us. Um, our pitching staff is a uh, veteran again to start, which was kind of like last year um, with our youth being on the position side. Um, so we're going to look to those two guys to kind of show these guys how to handle their day-to-day -day, uh, operations and how to deal with the cold and, and prepare and do things like that. Um, so they're going to be a, a big part of this team. Final question for me, why Nick in day one? 
because that's who the Padres picked to start day one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to pick the rotation. They just told me. But, but what do you like about him? Obviously, they like something about him. Obviously, there's something about him sure. that makes him an opening day starter because, you know, you only get one. Sure. Uh, big left-handed pitcher um, out of college, very, uh, you know, strike thrower, very consistent with all his pitches. Um, so he's a good choice. Um, but, yeah, you know, like all of our, we have five lefties in the starting rotation. Um, all of them are strike throwers. Uh, you know, obviously Mackenzie Gore um, and then Mason Thompson, who was here last year. We know a little bit about him. Um, we could have gone with any single one of those guys, but I think Nick's a good one uh, to start off with. Perfect, cool. I heard they're going to 